Well, that's right, Yuki. Jessica, protesters were out here because they were upset that this man, seen in videos using racial slurs, was charged with harassment. Oh my God, I totally forgot that the camera's not on. Okay, you guys gotta watch this shit. This is this crazy. This rain is captured on video. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Dozens of protesters gathered outside the man's home in Mount Laurel. I'm not gonna lie, Loki, this is a little bit overboard. I mean, I haven't seen the actual video. But, like, this is crazy. It's going to get wild. Watch. The video of the confrontation with his neighbor went viral. Late this evening, police took the man into custody. Alexandria Hoff is in Mount Laurel, where the protests got a little heated. Alex. Well, that's right, Yuki, Jessica. Protesters were out here because they were upset that this man, seen in videos using racial slurs, was charged with harassment but then allowed to return home. Well, new charges did emerge this evening, and he was taken into custody in dramatic fashion. It was a dramatic home removal for a man who many claim had been harassing neighbors outside of his Mount Laurel home for years. Police were called to the 3600 block of Gramercy Way Friday shortly after a disturbing video went. I mean, I guess the, the news is just like, fuck it. He doxed himself, so time to dox him further? I mean, that dude can't live there anymore, you know what I mean? Ironically, uh, I guess they don't like his kind there, boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> he's not going to be able to fucking live on that street anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> the, the reverse Uno card. <laughs> Viral, where police say 45 year old Edward Cagney Matthews was shouting offensive and racial slurs at a neighbor. This monkey over here, this monkey over here. On Friday. Oh! Oh shit, the classics, dude. Wow. That's like. That's an old one. That's a old but gold, you know what I mean? Wow, that's crazy. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, he's uh he's doing he's doing racism like a like a 14-year-old, like a kid. That's that like that's that childish racism. The old reliable. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. Hey, Matthews was charged with biased intimidation and harassment. The judge decided that they should be on a summons. So that evening, uh, Mr. Matthews was released. Monday afternoon, protesters arrived to his home demanding police take Matthews into custody. This is America. We all live here. We cannot, we can't put up with this. Several years ago, Alea Robinson's daughter, Jasmine, lived below Matthews in a different nearby apartment complex. I'm literally in fear all the time living with my son. Like, what am I supposed to do? Once the recent video was shared online, Jasmine decided to upload one that she had taken years back, where a man she describes as Matthews repeatedly using. Said, now here I go, looking like a f you're calling the cops. I totally understand. Oh wow, he's um. Hey guys, that's it's progress. He went from the N word to uh to using uh the he started saying monkey instead. He he's uh, he's growing. He's shown growth. Racist people will be like, he's demonstrated growth. Let him go. <laughs> Oh, no, he used the N-word in the other video, too? Oh, never mind. Why the protesters were here today. Happy four um, months they had seen videos that weren't available to us on actually giving a shit about um, Friday night that were even worse. Once that new video was reviewed, new charges were added, including assault. The decision was made to arrest Matthews. The protests that had remained calm all day got heated as police and SWAT units pulled Matthews from his home. Several bottles were thrown at Matthew's home and at police, but many... <laughs> Look at what CRT is doing. This is critical race theory, brother. Not letting me say the N-word. <laughs> I hate it. I thought this was America. What the fuck? Community <laughs> members urged that action to stop. In action, Hobbins. Police are still on scene where... <clears throat> excuse me, there was actually... Mason. COVID. The full video? Alright, we'll watch the full video. This is the OG one, right? Trigger warning, uh, just a, 
a Thumbelina being like very aggressively racist, like, you know, N words going to be heard. I'm just letting you guys know. There's a thread of like three two minute videos. Oh my God, dude. That's wild. What's he doing? Like, is he just like walking up to black people's houses? Thanks. And just saying the N word and stuff. Like, what? What? What's happening with this guy? Like, what's his deal? Does everybody? Does anyone understand what what his uh, deal is? Saying the N word prank. <laughs> He was accusing them of being drug dealers? Wait, what? What is he doing? Fucking bastard. That's right. Yeah, my parents are both dead. Yeah, what right. the fuck? My parents are both dead too. And what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing. What you gonna do? Nothing. All what you do is harass all people. That's all you know how to do. These motherfuckers are taking all the fucking money. I don't give a shit. Well, then shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up, monkey. Ooh. White monkey. <laughs> oh, he said white monkey. He said mayo monkey, dude. <laughs> love me. Oh no! Oh no! Sorry, I had to go grab a fucking... That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This isn't races, it's just New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, this is... This is the average interaction that every man in New Jersey has with one another. For the record, I just want to let you guys know, if you're unfamiliar, this is just New Jersey. Like, straight up. Motherfucker, you're right. you're right. Get the fuck out of here. You can't do shit. Touch him. Touch him. That's all I want you to do. Touch him. Shoot cut for you. Touch him. That's all I want you to do. Touch him. I know better. Oh, good you know better. Get the fuck out of I here. I got man. you three times. Touch him. I don't give Raising a shit. Don't worry. I don't give a shit. I want you to assault. Out of here. I'm going to wait for the cops to show yes. up. That's called assault. Yes. What? Wait for them to come here. Wait for them. We will. Yes. Keep waiting. I am. You walk on someone's watch you go to hide. This isn't their property, you dumb fuck. You dumb fuck. This is their own. No, this is common. They have dumb, ignorant. They have rights. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They don't have any right. Get the fuck out. Wait, what happened? What he? What he say? I'm sorry. What? Texas is less racist than New Jersey at this point. I mean, New Jersey's got, New Jersey hits different, dude. It's just like, I don't know how to describe it. New Jersey, maybe it's because of all the like processing plants and shit. Like, I don't know what it is. There's just like a fucked vibe in the, in the end, a weird energy out there in the air. Like everyone's just like weirdly contentious with one another straight up always. I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's like the water. I don't know what the fucking pollution is. Like, it's just very strange. It's the Italians. Maybe. I don't, I don't know, man. Italians live in other places too. I don't think, I feel like Italians in Chicago just like eating deep dish pizza and, and fucking, you know, kielbasa sausages or whatever. Whereas like Italians in New Jersey are, are very aggro. Great tans and bad tattoos, probably Delaware's fault. No right, this is called common ground. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. 
<laughs> I know Kilbasa is Polish, but they're in Chicago. Chicago's Polish territory. No matter how many Italians live there. That's why I said Kilbasa. That's all you know how to do. Walk up, harass all people. Nobody's harassed anybody. Yes, you have been. You have been. Everything is recorded. I don't so give a shit. Heard. Everything I said. I don't give a shit. I want to have a conversation. I do not if give a shit. If you don't give a shit, then get the I don't fuck out of here. I don't give a shit about you. I give a shit about them. So can you get the fuck what? out of here. What? Okay. I have every right to be here like you do. Oh, yeah. Just like he does right here. This it's is called common property. I don't care. Walk okay, well, then if you don't care, go away. learn your laws. Walk it's away. It's not Africa. Oh, this is not Africa. It's not a solid. Oh man, it's not Africa. Okay, so there's a thread. Oh, there's Here, more. This is called common property. I don't care. Walk okay, well, if you don't care, go away. Learn your laws. Walk it's away. It's not Africa. Oh, this is Africa. I was not a solid man here, wherever the fuck you were. I was born in America. Well, so, then you know what common ground is. I don't give a shit about you. you. You, you can, don't. can tell. You can tell. Yeah, someone in the chat pointed this out as well, but like, he's like charging up the, the N words. You know what I mean? He's like. He's like charging up the racism. He's about to be like, Kame, ha, me. like you can tell. He just, I mean, he, he released one early and it didn't hit. You know what I mean? He like released one too early in the altercation. So now he's like building back up. Like he's doing the Rasengan. Like he's just, he, he prematurely dropped the N word and now he's like, powering back up to it so we can like really really just like hit it impactfully but this is a black dude living in new jersey he he hears you know white people saying the n-word all the time probably so he's got his his defense points uh, on that uh on that front are are op you know Don't give a shit. shit about shit. Go out, go back to your house, I'm go right walk here. your dog, go do your shit. I'm right here. Okay, stay there right there. Do not talk to him. Do not harass him. Yeah, I'm, going sure. to, I'm going to stay this right here. This monkey over here, this monkey over here, both have videotape of you putting your hands on me twice. Oh, yeah, exactly. So what the fuck are you going to do about it? I'm going to press charges. Look, he's unfazed, bro. Like, you know. Seven <laughs> Look at this. Marino. Just unfazed. He's continuing with the... Like he just, he just did, he just dropped the AOE, okay? So that's his AOE attack. Like, he is now trying to kite the other two uh, uh, black members behind him and, and trying to bring them into battle as well. He, he drew the, he basically dropped uh, the, he called them monkeys. Yeah, the AOE taunt. <laughs> He's drawing aggro, <laughs> but, but it's not working. It's failing. His defenses are too high. Go on there. We will. Go on there. You want know what the police can do? What will the police do? Nothing. Exactly. Because they have no jurisdiction here. Okay, they don't. Okay, that's fine. So when they get here, I'm going to walk them the fuck off like I just did in front of Verlin's house. Okay. Who's Verlin? Okay, I don't give a shit. I don't. I love the, I love the white defense here, the defense brigade. The black guy called him a white monkey too. Yeah, dude, everybody famously knows um, saying white monkey is uh, exactly the same energy as calling a black person a monkey or uh, the N-word. So, yeah. Poggers. There's a difference between calling a dude a bitch and a woman a bitch. Like, contextually, there are differences, okay? Hassle. Dude, yeah, history doesn't exist, dude. Okay. The secretary of the board, her and her daughter are the not, fuck out of here. I do not care. I do not care. You are not going to harass them. You are not going to talk to them. <laughs> Keep laughing. I am. No, good. I will. Oh, good. Keep laughing. That's all Keep you know your mouth. Do. That's all you know how to do. That's it. That's it. That's all you know how to do. I didn't touch you. You touch I me. I don't give a shit. That's good. I don't as long as you know that. Yes, exactly. I don't give cool. two shits about it. You can't go press charges. I don't give two shits Hold about it. Hold on. You're right. No. I don't Hold give on. a shit. Why can't, I pre why can't I press charges? Why can't I press charges? They have no jurisdiction here. Nothing. See? He's like, he's drawing his alt. Like, the thunder clouds are like coming up behind him. Like, da na na da na na da na 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 And then he's just gonna fucking, 
He's charging it, dude. The there has a history of calling there people racial slurs for fun, so calling him go. a white monkey is the least of the problems. Brandon, you have no idea what you're getting involved in. Don't talk to me. And if you want to be involved in this, Don't talk I'm going to talk whoever I want. Exactly. Don't talk to if me. you want to get involved in this, Don't you know what happened to the last one? I know what you did. You broke that window. So Windows. Fuck you did. Dude, I, I don't care. Cookies no. window. Wait, what? This guy is like a menace, dude. This guy is literally a menace in the neighborhood. He's just like, so he's doing this repeatedly. Like this is a, this is a repeat offender. Like, I don't understand. How, how do you deal with a fucking neighbor like this? <laughs> Vanilla gorilla type beat. What the fuck, dude? Windows got shot out with a shotgun. I don't care. Two twenty twos to the fucking front face. I do not care. In Cherry Hill, I their fucking care. daughter got smashed. Exactly. I don't Is care. that what you want? No. And you want to know where I was when all this happened? I don't care. At work, monkey. I don't care where you were. At Mark. Just I like I told the Mount Laura police, get these fucking monkey niggers out of here, and you can't do shit. That's me talking shit. Thirty six oh two Gramercy Way. That's where I live. Come fucking see me. seems like that was a mistake guys i don't want to get ahead of myself here i'm beginning to think this guy might be racist i don't know it feels like he could be racist hmm <laughs> Thirty six oh two Gramercy Way. That's where I live. Come fucking see me. So you were real comfortable. So get me on video so you know what you see. Bring whoever. There's, I'm surprised. There's got to be some chatters in here who are like, literally just so desperate to be like, wait, we need the context though. Why has he been yelling about uh, how uh, the black people around him are n words and monkeys? Like, we need the context. Yeah, it seems like uh, they heard the message. And who many claim had been harassing neighbors outside of his Mount Laurel home for years. Not Africa. Police were called to the 3600 block of Grammar. Protesters gathered outside the man's home in Mount Laurel after a video of the confrontation with his neighbor went viral. Late this evening, police took the man into custody. Lol, what context would make it justifiable? That's the joke. That's literally, that's the joke I'm making. It's literally just unjustifiable. Yeah, just hold on, hold on. Let's do this again. Shot out with a shotgun. I don't care. I don't care where you are. At Mark. Just like I told the Mount Laurel police, get these fucking monkey niggers out of here and you can't do shit. That's me talking shit. 3602 Gramercy Way, that's where I live. Come fucking see me. So you were real comfortable, so get me on video so you know what you see. Bring whoever. And they did. Alex Jones build? Yeah, it's. That's, I'm surprised that he, like, isn't a cop. You know what I mean? The white guy's also a drug dealer. He admits it himself here. He also claims to call the police to protect them. Wait, what? White guy exposed himself for selling drugs? This is happening. I sell drugs. That's what I do. That's what I've always done around here. I stopped, went to prison three times. I sell drugs. That's what I do. Now I have all the friends with the cops. If you guys want to keep doing it this route, we're going to go the legal route. You're not going to get any help from the cops because they're my people. Do you understand? Yeah. That's why you're not getting anything. That's, and I know that you've said that. The cops came down and told me. They said, what do you want us to do? So you can figure that out. We're not trying to cause you a problem. You're not trying to cause us a problem, right? I've never been trying to cause you a problem. Right. So there's no reason for the cops to come. This motherfucker has a Rolex on, dude. Is that a Foley? You think? Come back around. 
Isn't that like a like a mariner or something? Like that's like we should be perfectly cordial, be able to have these conversations and be able to live around here with no problem. Yeah, but now what you're talking about, oh, the cops aren't going to help you or calling my brother a nigger. I don't bother you. I don't calling do Calling your brother a nigger. Yeah, you did do that. No, I said, now I'm going to call the cops like the niggers do. That's what I said. I didn't call no, your brother a you nigger. you said you fucking nigger. I Everyone said, now here I go, night. looking like a fucking nigger calling the cops. This is okay. exactly what I said. Well, we all heard I, you. We all heard you? Every, we all heard it, yeah. Everybody. Oh, that and never mind, dude. Sorry. I guess we should just uh, walk away from this. Oops. Sorry, sir. This was a misunderstanding. Okay. Never mind, I guess. <laughs> My man's like fucking up the, the stereotypes, too. Like, I don't understand. Like, what? What, what what is that is there a stereotype of like black people calling the cops or something like what like how are you gonna be racist and not do like racial stereotypes appropriately like he couldn't even figure that out everybody outside i couldn't believe it because i wasn't even in the argument right and you weren't even there either yeah and I, called I came my, outside up top keep keep doing what you're doing and then we'll turn it around another way how about that okay turn it around another way i just recorded everything you said on my phone so go ahead because i'm about That's to right. go file okay. a complaint right now you can file i am but i am the whole conversation recorded kind of weird she's be clenched It's like when racist tells us to go eat KFC, like, bro, get it right, it's Popeyes. I think he's doing the racial stereotype pretty well. He goes crazy after the cop comes at 4.30. Oh shit, let's see. Oh, this is a whole ass video, dude. Live, come fucking see me. So you're real comfortable, so... Get me on video so you know what you see. Bring whoever. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, White, why are you back over here? Well, somebody called me. Someone called you. It's private property. You have no jurisdiction here whatsoever. I do. None. Somebody calls me. Hold on. Back up. Back you back know up. what? Hold on. Back yeah. up. No, no, no. Oh my God. Is he wearing a baby Yoda shirt? God damn. I love that he thinks dude, this is this is extremely white person behavior to assume that like because you're a part of like whatever fucking homeowners association you were a part of. That like cops literally can't do any like you could just murder someone and cops can't come on the private property like for an altercation. It's private property. Hey, white. You have no jurisdiction here. It's like, dude, you're literally, you don't have diplomatic immunity, you fucking thumb. This is not U.S. soil. Notice how, notice how originally that was not private property, but it was actually common ground. So he could stand right there and be as racist as he wanted to. All the black people in the neighborhood. But now it's private property when the cop rolls up. Interesting. Mischief drip. <laughs> True. You look at his pockets inside out, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. This dude is like, oh, he's all over the place. You know, he bullied the fuck out of John Boyega on Instagram. Oh, straight up. He's got real Star Wars, got real SJW energy right here. Dripped in Walmart designer. Least racist Star Wars fan. Back up, back you know up. what? Hold on. Yeah. No, no, no. Back I'm going to let you do your thing. 
Go talk to these fucking niggers. Go ahead. Stop, stop, Fuck stop. you. Go talk to the niggers. Let them know what I'm all about and what their fucking rights they have. All right. You want to go back? Is this guy like a CI or something? I don't understand. Like, why are they so nice to him? <laughs> Cops like, whoa, Hank. We can talk like this when we're together. You can't say that to him. <laughs> That's it's like this is not our cod lobby, dude. Stop. You're embarrassing me. Go back to your house. I'll come back to you. No, I'll stand right here. It's common property. Okay. Have a nice night. You guys from 1101? Oh, yeah. You know. Bro, if this guy arrests the black dudes, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to let you guys get an education right now. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'll do my job. Right? No problem. Who, uh, who lives at 1101? Who calls me? You guys want to step out and talk, or? Oh, okay. I want you to go away. I don't know him. I want you to be me. Denise, I'm not going away until your husband stops Kennedy. fucking finding me and threatening me while I'm at Kennedy. fucking work. Kennedy, cut it out, man. Oh, Let wait. Me talk to them. Right. Oh, my God. The cop literally knows him by name. He knows him, dude. What the fuck? That's nuts, dude. What? What is happening, dude? Cops just know every racist person in the neighborhood. <laughs> how do they know each other? Like, do they, from the rally? Like, how do they know each other? Press me! I'm not oh, you can't! Right now. Relax. You fucking niggers! Just cut it out, dude. Oh, that's what you Brandon. 36 <laughs> Someone said community policing? Yeah. Community policing is when you... <laughs> When you collaborate with the most racist people in the community. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm kidding. They probably, I mean, this dude is so comfortable. He's so comfortable, dude, that this dude has done this before. The cops probably know him. He's probably like famous in the police department. Or if he, like, already admitted that he sold drugs, probably, like, a CI or something on top of that, too. You know what I mean? This isn't Florida, no. Chatters... Chatters forget that uh, I'm, I went to school in New Jersey, right? So I rarely ever talk about New Jersey, but like, this is extremely New Jersey behavior. Like what's going on here is remarkably New Jersey. I'm just letting you know. New Jersey can get very Florida sometimes. Don't you ever see me. Come see me. You Nobody's coming to see you, Karen. Go home. I'll talk to you in a minute. Go home. I'll talk to you in a minute. That, oh, wow, virgin cop. Ch Chad racist versus virgin cop. What the fuck? Chad racist versus virgin racist. <laughs> Come on, just go home. We'll talk about it in a second, please. Come on, we'll have beers later. I agree. That, that's not be allowed to go. I agree with you. You, uh, you guys all live at 1101? Yeah. No, just, just me. Okay. Don't want to litter on our property. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> you want to you yeah. go on the floor real quick? Yeah. See what's going yeah. on here. Sir, this is... Did you know there was monkeys out there? Cagney, cut it out, man. Go home. I would literally be Joe Rogan if he... This would literally be Joe Rogan if he didn't get progressives on a show. No. People really forget about bat wielding South Philly in 2020. That's not even 30 minutes to Mount Laurel. Loki surprised the cop didn't make an arrest right then and there. Bias incident is an indictable offense. My dad, an ex cop, once arrested a dude on the spot for harassing a Holocaust survivor. Bias incidents is a felony.
Oh, he got arrested now, boys. I don't know how you can watch this, to be honest. I don't know. I mean... Sometimes it's funny to laugh at these fucking hogs, dude. And also, in the end, there is a... Uh, it's not one of those stories with a bad ending. One of those stories with a good ending. Let's take a look. I mean, he literally doxed himself. He said, come to me, come to my house, and invited everybody. So, you know. Yet another incident when, you know, it's fucking so sick. When you're sowing. But when the reaping comes around, you're like, oh, fuck, dude. Oh, no. Oh, don't do it. You know, when you, when you fuck around and then you find out, you're like, oh, shit. Did not want to find that out. Cops running behind the car like that vid of the North Korean delegation? Dude, that's exactly what I was thinking of, too. That's so funny. Did that friendly fucking cop get punished, though? You can't just let someone scream a slur and do nothing? No, of course he didn't get punished. They probably commended him for de-escalating. Yeah, this guy seems, uh, all kinds of racist. Interesting guy. Here's the chase for the funniest shit. All I see is a bunch of liberal Antifa brutally harassing a poor white man. I also need to... I also don't need to watch the video for context yet. Do you think the cop told him to go home because that's how they teach cops to talk to people in, how, in those situations? I mean, he did successfully de-escalate the situation. I believe he successfully de-escalated the situation by, you know, not really punishing that dude. Partially because I feel like he doesn't give a shit that he was being, he was harassing the other dude. But who knows? I mean, they dealt with it. They dealt with it. I, I don't have a problem. I mean, they... I'm not going to look for, like, additional things to be upset about here. You know? Why don't you try talking about issues substantively without making... Just killing time by commenting on these unimportant issues? Is it all ultras for increased viewership? Come on, man. Is this series the best content you can do? I'm disappointed at the sad content, man. You're giving a bad, left us a bad name, my friend. It's like following since 14 minutes ago. First time viewer, but disappointed so far. Why don't you have anything intelligent to say? Just commenting. In an ad hominem manner is so sad. <laughs> Why are you doing ad hominems at the thumb-like dude who called everyone a monkey and said the n-word over and over again? I'm not gonna ban this guy. That's a funny. That's a that's a funny pet to have.
Why aren't you why aren't you calling up the racist and debating him on the efficacy of saying the n-word and why it's appropriate to say it sometimes in a tactical capacity? I'm so mad. Okay, so let's move on from this and uh, let's get back to the to the news here.